now though it's time for a look at the weather and susan powell is here for oh hello hello <laughs> so uh there's a low up there is that anything there is about? there is but panic not panic not actually what we're going to look at for this little bit is this because the kids have been back at school at least five minutes so of course it's time for half term next week <laughs> and now if you're like me you're thinking oh well it's not doing too bad it's 22 23 in uh, parts of eastern england at the moment so you might be thinking oh have i spent all my money now to go on my jolly holidays down to europe and is it going to look like this because just take a look at what's been going on this is the remnants actually of leslie and michael so this was the ex hurricane that knocked all the power out in portugal brought all the rain to spain and that massive catastrophe flooding into uh, france and so for the next few days, actually, Simon, it's not looking too clever across Western Europe for the Balearics and somewhere under there, Sardinia and Corsica. If you have booked your holiday, it's all right. Here's next week. It's looking better then. But unfortunately, if you are going across towards Greece or Turkey for your, you know, half-term break, mm -hmm. southern Italy, Sardinia, take your Mac. <laughs> OK, what about... But I can cheer you up because this you is... You could look, stay look, here and, look and stay further north. Look further yeah. north and look... Yeah, Half term actually closer to home. If you've saved your pennies and you're off, you know, to the seaside. This is really here. cheering those of us who don't get half term. Well, yeah, you know, I know. That, it's, it's some. Well, I've yeah, lost <laughs> some chance, but yeah, it's not looking <laughs> so bad. And actually, today, as I said, to the east at the moment, in the sunshine, after a bit of a misty and murky start, 21, 22 degrees today. I'd, I'd pack my shorts away and thought that was it. You know, white ankles. I'll leave them there. White ankles <laughs> goodbye. And now we're, we're sizzling away again. It is going to get just a little bit fresher in the next few days, but the forecast is actually pretty tame after the nasty weather of the weekend, Storm Callum. What a breeze around tonight, bit of a weather front sliding south, some rain for the Midlands, some rain for the southwest, but actually it's quite a quiet picture. And as we move into tomorrow, we're going to see perhaps a little bit of brightness in the southeast again. Some rain though tomorrow plaguing the southwest of England, eventually other southern counties of England and East Anglia. So tomorrow, definitely the best of the sunshine further north, Scotland, Northern England, Northern Ireland. Temperatures well closer to average here, certainly, but nonetheless, it's not looking too bad. And here comes that high starting to build even as we look ahead to Thursday. And that's going to get rid of that weather front eventually in the southeast. So a little bit of cloud left, I think, thanks to that on Thursday. But nice day pretty much across the board Thursday. There will be a lot of autumn sunshine around. Could be a bit chilly first thing with a few patches of mist and fog after clear skies overnight. But the story is looking increasingly settled, particularly for a big portion of the UK the end of this week and on into the weekend and as we saw in to next week so uh, it may well have been worth saving your pennies and booking a holiday a bit closer to home friday we start to see some weather fronts just trying to topple in to the top of our area of high pressure and that's where we're going to try and sort of see the weather giving us some action in the coming days moving into this area of high pressure so there will be some rain at times for scotland and northern ireland perhaps a bit of that on friday but again for many the end of the week looks like it will be dry there'll be some decent sunshine across northern and eastern scotland i think with shelter to the east of northern ireland and particularly for england and wales and the temperatures start to creep up a little bit once again so our story really as we look at the outlook for the coming days is one of a lot of decent autumn sunshine we will i think perhaps see a little bit more mist and fog in a few spots early on in the day could even get a few pockets of frost but for the UK the weather story is very much one of settling down whereas further south across Europe still through the western end of the Med we've got those stormy conditions and that will move further east on into next week so it might be worth taking a look at some of our forecasts for further afield if you have plans to head that way. Now let's catch up with the weather and with the forecast here's Susan Powell. Hello. After an unseasonably warm day across some parts of England and Wales we're leading into a mild night there'll be a lot of fine weather around as well with of course a couple of exceptions as they usually are this time we're talking about a weather front across the northwest of england and wales bringing some rain in through the evening arriving in time for the rush hour here and some quite hefty showers for northern and western scotland and a few for northern ireland too those will mostly die out as the night goes on our weather front slowly drifts southeastwards perhaps the rain somewhat more persistent for the southwest through the small hours clear skies though pretty much either side of that front maybe a few patches of fog again returning to the southeast of england to the north definitely the driest and the clearest of the weather i think on offer for wednesday some decent sunshine for scotland northern ireland northern england and then increasingly so for wales further south and east the weather front always sitting around through the day the rain never especially heavy but a different looking day certainly for the southeast and east anglia cooler and cloudier than today okay let's have a look at the weather now with the forecast here's susan powell 
Hello. After an unseasonably warm day across some parts of England and Wales, we're leading into a mild night. And there'll be a lot of fine weather around as well, with, of course, a couple of exceptions as they usually are. This time we're talking about a weather front across the northwest of England and Wales, bringing some rain in through the evening, arriving in time for the rush hour here, and some quite hefty showers for northern and western Scotland and a few for Northern Ireland too. Those will mostly die out as the night goes on. Our weather front slowly drifts southeastwards. Perhaps the rain somewhat more persistent for the southwest through the small hours. Clear skies though, pretty much either side of that front, maybe a few patches of fog again, returning to the southeast of England. To the north, definitely the driest and the clearest of the weather, I think, on offer for Wednesday. Some decent sunshine for Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, and then increasingly so for Wales. Further south and east, the weather front, always sitting around through the day, the rain never especially heavy, but a different looking day, certainly for the southeast and east Anglia, cooler and cloudier than today.